there to all my adventures out there. We're going to try something a little new on our channel. Uh, and we're calling this Something Good Sundays, where we get a chance to try different restaurants, different food vendors, and give you our thoughts on what we think about these restaurants. Today we're trying out Lucy's Fried Chicken. I've heard a lot about it, never been there. Um, this location is particularly on Burnett Road, as there are two other locations within the Austin area. So let's dive right in and I can give you some insight on what they sell and how decent the food is. This is one of Austin's favorite homegrown restaurants. Uh, again, this is Lucy's Fried Chicken, and it's helmed by a local chef named James Holmes. I will say that they have a great variety of different types of uh, comfort food, and um, they, they serve up lunch, dinner, and weekend brunch, and we actually came for their weekend brunch for this. Now I'm gonna start this off with the overall customer service of this establishment. I will say hands down, we had one of the greatest waitresses. This is a new location, so we didn't know what to expect. And I will say we got treated with more than just respect, but great hospitality. And as I continue through this, I will say that their drink selection was pretty great as well. Um, to me, I think they were a little overpriced for the drinks, but uh, they were good, so I'm not going to lie about that. As you can see here, it's a very extensive menu for just something when you're thinking about Lucy's Fried Chicken, you don't think of all the different things that they would sell into this location. But it's a really great mixture of foods and selections of choices. After talking with the waitress a little bit about some of the items she loves on the menu, we dove right in and started with some appetizers. We got some chicken boudin balls right here and some regular golf oysters. The face my wife makes is priceless. She enjoys seafood to the limit. So I mean, we had to get the regular oysters for her and she really enjoyed them. I'm not gonna lie, they were really good too. Uh, again, mindset, fried chicken is what we coming from so we did not expect to see oysters on there and I will say they were really good along with the chicken boudin balls they had a nice zest to them <sighs> lovely now on to our brunch menu and I will say what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause right here because I was really torn in between getting those Burnett Road sliders as you can see right here I mean look at that description it screams mouth watering. But nonetheless, I was here to taste the chicken to get that understanding of Lucy's fried chicken. So I went with the chicken and waffles. Let's get back into it. So we begin to dig into our main courses. Uh, one of my sons and myself, we both got the chicken and waffles. And then my other son, he eats chicken tenders everywhere he goes. So we said, just try something different. He got some regular chicken wings and fries this time around. Um, my wife ended up with a chicken cob salad, uh, which was more than enough chicken to spread on top of it. Um, but yeah, everyone kind of enjoys. You can see these wings right here. They weren't fried too hard. They weren't actually soft either. They, they were actually fried just right. So I'm not gonna be mad at the fact that those chicken wings were not as seasoned as I thought because they had a good taste and flavor to them. The chicken and waffles came presented very nicely. Um, they give you two full big pieces of breast um, for your chicken as well as your waffles. Um, the butter was good. Um, and I think everything else really had like a, a good taste to it. It wasn't burnt, overly cooked or anything like that. I will say that this piece of chicken is kind of big, so therefore it was a little bit drier than what it should be if they use something else, or for that matter, like these wings. Uh, these wings were very tender and juicy, whereas the big pieces of breast were kind of dry. Now, again, my wife's salad, 
uh, the chicken that she was looking for for that salad. Um, it looks like they took the same chicken breast that they had for the chicken and waffles and they just shredded that. So the meat was still a little bit tough, but it was a lot of it for her salad. We had a set of half, half oysters, there about six of them. Maybe wanted to order a whole new set of their specialty ones they have on the menu. So we're waiting on those to come back, even after all this food we had down here this morning. Okay. The combination of flavors that they chose with these oysters were really good, but I think they were flame broiled too much, which ended up having them to draw up more than I would like. But other than that, they were okay. Always catching her chewing. Lucy's fried chicken on North Lamar. Baby's infamous thumbs up. It was so good. So, so, so good. The oysters was like... Something good Sundays. <laughs> and there you have it. I would say that my family was satisfied with the food that we had there. I would say the prices were... They were okay uh, for the meal choices, but they did have some unique items. So I'll give it a five for the atmosphere. I'll give it a five for the service and maybe a three for the food. Um, even with those unique items, I still feel there could have been a little bit more flavor bursting out of them. But you go and give it a try yourself and let me know down below in the comments when you get a chance to. Again, this is Lucy's Fried Chicken on Burnett Road. And we see you on the next episode of Something Good Sundays.